course, my New Orleans Saints, you guys see this shirt. You guys already know I'm a major fan. So with the Saints winning in a prime time national television matchup, you already knew I was going to start the show here. Saints beat the Panthers 20 to 17 in a little bit of a concerning fashion for the New Orleans Saints. We know that Bryce Young has struggled, obviously, in his first week he did with the Falcons. And the Saints still do a damn good job at holding them to what they did. We knew that this offense of the Carolina Panthers wasn't really going to be an offense that really was out there pushing for a ton of yards or actually just making things happen with an Adam Thielen, possibly with a DJ Chark. Of course, we got a Hayden Hurst as well. And you want to see the Panthers use some of those weapons, at least their veterans, right? to some of their advantages for a young guy like Bryce Young. But let's go ahead and dive right into the takeaways of the game. Of course, the Saints lose Jamal Williams here, which is really, really tough. Of course, we hear he's going to be out for a couple of weeks. And Jamal Williams was a big signing for the New Orleans Saints in the offseason. We know he was supposed to provide that running back depth as Alvin Kamara was supposed to miss the first few games of the year. And Kendra Miller was out too, but he should be getting his way back into the lineup as well as the Saints are going to go on and face Green Bay. But the Saints need Alvin Kamara. The Saints damn sure need Alvin Kamara right now in this offense. We see that Tony Jones was good when the line did make some way, and I love his two touchdowns. you got to appreciate when he steps up in the moment here for New Orleans and absolutely does his job. Alvin Kamara's versatility is really going to help take that pressure off of Derek Carr and allow us to hopefully run those screens that we were so deadly with, but that requires offensive line play. And offensive line play has really been the biggest thing here for the New Orleans Saints as they're now through the first two weeks of the NFL season. You see that Derek Carr in week one was pressured 50% of the time and still had over 300 yards. Of course, he had the interception as well. He does throw another interception in this game, but the offensive line gives up another four sacks. It's absolutely atrocious. We've got eight sacks given up in two games, and that's not going to cut it. Again, we gave up another four sacks in week two against the Panthers, just like we did against in week one against the Tennessee Titans. And, and I will say that the Panthers defense, I expected it to be okay this year. They only returned 40% of their starters or the snaps played by the previous roster. That's by far the lowest in the NFL. So they have a ton of new faces. Bryce Young's dealing a lot of with a lot of ton, uh, a lot of new faces, just being in the NFL in general. Frank Wright coming in as the new head coach, of course. So they've got some things here. Um you know, that are, that are going to be interesting, or excuse me, at least with the roster, with the snaps played. So you want to see the Saints play better against a team that's not super familiar. Yes, they do, of course, present Brian Burns in the occasion, um, but the O-line has to be better, as I've said in previous times. If we want the New Orleans Saints, and if the fans want the Saints to get back to what they were, no, it's not going to be the Breeze and the Peyton era because Carr and Dennis Allen are clearly not that, but it starts and ends in the trenches, just like the Philadelphia Eagles were um, – you know, starting it and ending it in the starting it and ending it in the trenches against the Minnesota Vikings and even doing their best to stifle, obviously, against the New England Patriots as well. The trenches are everything here. And with Derek Carr, who is a guy that can move decently outside of the pocket, I like when he gets out of the pocket and kind of start to make plays. I don't like the errant throws like we saw the horrible interception in a triple coverage. But Derek Carr is athletic. He can move outside of these pockets, but you don't want him to have to necessarily move if he can get that protection. I'd like to see the pocket presence be a little bit better as well, of course. But overall, talking about that interception Derek Carr threw, I think something that I think that's something that can really get coached out of him in the coming weeks. Now I feel like I am putting a lot of faith in Dennis Allen to coach that out of a guy like Derek Carr, who he has a ton of faith in, but I damn sure love the way that the offense is taking these deep shots. Now we saw in the later days of the New Orleans Saints with Drew Brees and not a whole lot of air yards out of his arm. Sean Payton having to cater to that with the screen plays. Obviously, Michael Thomas getting called slant boy. It was the Saints fans drooling in the in, in the later years of Drew Brees because we didn't have a lot of plays downfield. It was a lot of the 15, 16, 17-yard, 80, 85-yard drives. You simply cannot win like that week in and week out in the NFL today, and especially with the way the offenses are now. You look at him giving uh, Derek Carr here, giving Chris Olave a chance, giving Chris Olave an absolute chance on that catch um, obviously where he bobbles it, brings it in one-handed. Some people might not like the throw, but that's literally giving your wide receiver one a shot to make a play. And Chris Olave comes up big because the offense really started to kick up after that point. Rashid Shahid, man, continue to cook with him, continue to utilize him. We saw it last year, two touches, two touchdowns. We see it this year, two key plays, two key moments in both of the wins that the Saints are thankfully 2-0 and at this point in the season. You love 
what Rashid Shahid is doing for this offense. He's really like our Tyreek Hill, or to keep it more Saints, like our Ted Ginn Jr. of recent years, right? Now, you do you do see Derek Carr engineer those two touchdown drives of 70-plus yards. Later on, that ultimately win the game. You have the big throw to Chris Olave, like I mentioned. You have the big throw to Rashid Shahid as well. But the O-line, again, they have to bring things together in order for us to get back to that point that we were at because Derek Carr's pocket presence, sometimes he does hold the ball too long. Sometimes he is a little timid in the pocket. Give me some of that preseason versus Kansas City, Kansas City Chiefs O-lines, New Orleans Saints. I need that for our guy Derek Carr out there. I absolutely love, absolutely love the Taysom Hill packages in this game. We're finally working him back into the offense, or at least for this game, it felt like he was getting inserted into that offense, more RPOs, the power runs, the handoffs, the passes. He he really just keeps the defense guessing, right? One of my main complaints with the Saints in recent years was they would bring Taysom Hill in and immediately run the power run with him. And the league started catching on to that. But when you bring him in and just have him do a handoff, or you bring him in and let him do an RPO, or you bring, in him, in, bring him in, let him throw a pass, or run that power run, it keeps the defense guessing because, hell, you even see the Saints at some point last night bring him out of the RB1 role. Leads the team with 75 rushing yards, especially late in the game when we turned him back into that RB1. I absolutely love to see the creativity there from Dennis Allen actually using Taysom Hill in a vital time, I felt like, where Jamal Williams does go down. We don't have Kendra Miller. Tony Jones did get his two touchdowns, but it still was 12 carries for 34 yards. But I'm not complaining because Tony Jones did what he was supposed to do in that moment. Love our defense standing tall still. I said coming into the game, it was absolutely going to be like that. I don't like Adebo getting flagged twice. Clearly, that takes away an interception. Excuse me. He almost had an interception. And then, obviously, the holding by Adebo wiped away another strip sack that we could have had. Um <clears throat> Obviously, we forced some turnovers here on the Carolina Panthers, which is great for us. D line pressure got a uh, D line got pressure with four all night. We got four sacks, also seven sacks on the year, and it took us almost eight full quarters to give up a touchdown as we start the season here with the Saints. And you know, we really shouldn't have given that touchdown up. We were probably just looking to get the ball back and ultimately waste clock more than anything, like we did uh, in the later points of this game to put it away. The Saints have now allowed twenty points or fewer for a franchise record 10th game in a row dating back to last season. So you love the Saints defense again coming around in the last couple of years. Big credit to Dennis Allen here. I will give him credit for that. They're 2 and 0 for the first time since 2013 in a whole decade. They haven't nearly played their best football. Derek Carr is telling you that Dennis Allen for what it's worth is telling you that. They haven't played their best football by far. They still don't have Alvin Kamara in the lineup. Michael Thomas and Chris Olave and Rashid Shaheed are still gelling with Derek Carr. The O-line still has to improve. And they're still one of the nine teams to be undefeated going into week three at 2-0. and We'll get into some 2-0 and teams later on in the season. But, you know, you take a look at this game for the Carolina Panthers as well, and it's like, damn, Bryce Young needs help. And I will say Adam Thielen was a good signing. I did like Hayden Hurst in his days. I think with the Bengals at one point, we know he's with the Falcons, the Ravens. Now he's with the Panthers. He can be a weapon. G.J. Chark can be a weapon. LaVisca Chenault can be a weapon. Chuba Hubbard is a guy that can play well. You're in year one of year four with Bryce Young. So, of course, you're going to see him get these prospects and get these draft picks in the later years. Hopefully, the Carolina does do that for him to give their number one overall pick, to give their Heisman winner what he truly needs to succeed in the NFL. Again, they basically have nine points. The Saints, in an ugly way, control most of this football game. Bryce Young just needs help. I think he was 15 for... 23 or 28, I'm not mistaken. Again, under 160 yards in this game. Um, and overall, again, the Saints defense welcomed Bryce Young to the NFL. The Panthers are now a team that's 0-2 in the NFC South. You have the Falcons at the Saints at the top at 2-0. But again, Saints 2-0 for the first time in the decade. Tenth straight game where they've allowed 20 points or, le or less. Saints are not playing their best football right now, and they are 2 and oh, 